Hello, hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Laura and this is my channel, Laura's Little Library. So I'm now beginning this week's vlog. It is the last vlog that I will be doing for the reading extravaganza. Oh, so sad, uh, but still kind of exciting. So couple of things that I'll need to catch you up on. So first off, this week's vlog is witches. So spellcasters, witches, wizards, warlocks, sorcerers, whatever. I have three books that I'm hoping to read. The first one is The Ravens, and I do have the audiobook for this one, so hopefully I can... Uh, this is the one I plan on starting with, and I hope to start it today. And then I also have The Nature of Witches, and this one I think is going to be such a gorgeous like fall read. Um, so I'm really excited for it. I don't know a lot about this plot going into it. And then the last one I have is Sweet and Bitter Magic. And I actually just got the audiobook for this today. So I might read this one second. Just depends. Um, I'll, I'll read it after The Ravens um, whenever I can listen to the audiobook. But yes. So those are the three books. They all have like kind of this pretty color scheme, like the little bit of black and pink, blue and purple, purple and blue-ish. Anyway, so those these are the three books that I plan on reading and I am really excited to do so. Now, first thing that I should mention about this vlog is this. I have no idea how this vlog is going to go because I am actually flying to Canada this weekend to visit family. I live in the States, uh, but I have family in Canada, and we are flying tomorrow, which is Friday, and we're gonna be there until Tuesday. So that's gonna be like, majority of this vlog <laughs> is going to be in Canada. I want to film as much as possible, but I'm also going to put family first. Um, but that also means, so we are flying instead of driving because normally we would drive but normally we would be driving from Michigan rather than Minnesota, so we're flying. Um, but that does mean I will have plenty of air time to uh, listen to the audiobooks, and it is technically international travel, so we will have to get to the airport really, really early, and then we'll end up sitting and waiting, um, and then during the flight, that's, it's just prime reading time, and I'll bring my crochet along so that I can get things done but yeah that that is just something to keep in mind um i will be in canada so <laughs> yeah great opening clip right mm -hmm. yeah i'm sure so i am just going to quick do a little bit of cleaning of my little bookish area oh one more thing i almost forgot because i'm lame i got book mail so i was so very excited these one of these things I like just ordered and the other I ordered months ago and have been waiting for it. So what I just got that I just ordered was The School for Good and Evil, A World Without Princes by Samam Chainani. And I ordered this because I own the first book. This is the second book. And I want to reread the first book and then continue on with the series. I remember the idea of the first book, but I don't really remember the ending, so I want to make sure I know all the little details before I start the second one. I want to read it, one, because it is the group read in the Freddy Cat Readathon, and two, because there is a Netflix adaptation coming up. So that's really exciting, so I want to finish the series before that gets released, or at least make progress in the series so that when it is released, I can start watching it, but hopefully not spoil myself. So. I bought the second book and I'm really happy. It's such a pretty cover. Look at his shinies. And then, so what I ordered a long time ago and what has finally come, not all of it came either. So I don't own manga, but um, I do now. Um, so I ordered the first four volumes of Hore Mia um, and volumes one, two, and four. <laughs> came. One, two, and four. I think I've read one, two, and 
three. So I will definitely be reading this, but I'm just, where is my third volume? Is it like, was it not in stock? I don't quite know. So I'm gonna go and make sure that I ordered the third volume, but yeah, I have one, two, and four. And then the other ones are Spy X Family. Now Spy X Family, I've again read like the first two, maybe three volumes for, but I got volumes four and six. And I know I ordered one through six. So I'm, I'm a little confused that I, I, didn't, I didn't get all of them in one order and now I'm paranoid that I did something wrong, but maybe they're just coming in a package later. I don't really know. So yeah, that's, I have started with manga. I've started reading a little bit of manga. I have a friend of mine who he has recently been like, you would like this manga. And lighting changed, my ring light died, it's okay. Um, so he has gotten me interested in a select few manga that he's really liked and so I've decided that I'm going to buy them and then I'm going to actually do more research into other manga that I might like because I do follow uh, YouTubers and book talkers who read manga and there are some that I think oh I might enjoy that so I might dive into manga a little bit more in the future and now I finally have them although I have no room on my shelf to put them there. But you know what? That's okay. I'll figure it out because it's definitely worth it. I'm gonna go now. I'll catch up with you later. So it's Friday now and we are getting ready to go to Canada. Uh, Brennan is making lunch, but I started reading The Nature of Witches last night and it already has influenced my dream a little bit. It was kind of interesting how so I like the concept of it, how each witch belongs to a different season, except for our main character who's an ever witch and she does all the seasons, you know, because that's that's how books are. But and it already started to influence my dreams just a little bit in terms of like changing seasons. But one thing that I did not realize until I opened this book. So I'm only like how many pages in? I'm only like twenty pages in. But like, guys, look at this. So the cover is nice, you know, it's autumnal, I like it. And I and I didn't realize until I saw these bottoms and I was like, wait a minute. So I finally took the dust jacket off and look at it. Look at this. This is gorgeous. I had no idea this was underneath the dust jacket. I love it so much. It's so pretty. It's very obviously nature-y and I think it'll fit the book. And I just, oh my word, I cannot get over how gorgeous this is. So, like, the cover is nice and everything, but, like, oh my gosh. So, I don't know how I'm going to keep it on my shelves. If I'm going to keep it with the dust jacket because that's easier. Or gorgeousness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so, anyway, I have started reading it because that's the one I don't have an audiobook for. However, on the plane... I, so I will be bringing this to Canada, and I will also be bringing the Ravens here to Canada as well, um, cause I have, that's backwards, I have the audiobook for this, so I might listen to it on the planes and in the airport, cause I'll probably start listening to this on the plane, um, uh, and ha yeah, but then I could also follow along if I want to, but I also really want to keep doing my crochet project, so I'm bringing those two books and my crochet to Canada. I, cause we'll be there until Tuesday. So like, and we'll, we'll, we won't get there until very, very late tonight. So it's really Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It's three days. Um, but I want to make sure, you know, everything is like family focused. So I don't think I'll finish both books, but I will have them both along just in case I finish one. And then, worst comes to worst, if somehow I magically finish both books, I have the audiobook for Sweet and Bitter Magic, so I could start it even without the physical book, but, yeah. But for now, I'm only bringing those two, and I will be traveling with them without the dust jackets, because I am paranoid that they will rip, as they have in the, f in the past for me. So, that's the update. I probably won't update you until we're in the uh, airport. It'll be interesting. Um, I won't be able to film a lot in the airport because I'm not bringing a film stand and that's just kind of tricky. 
So, whenever I see you next is gonna be when I see you next. So, we are currently stuck in the Chicago airport. Uh, we took the wrong COVID test, so we had to switch our flight to accommodate taking a COVID test tomorrow morning, which really, 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 really sucks for so many reasons, but we want to be safe. So, <laughs> uh, I was able to listen to like the first 60, 70 pages of the Ravens on the plane, and I expect I will be listening to much more of it now that I have to spend the night in the Chicago O'Hare Airport. I'm enjoying it. I'm a little sad that I'm reading it in bad times, but it's I'm enjoying the book so far. I like um, the description of magic, and I like how the sorority is being portrayed. It's very interesting, especially as someone who is not a sorority member. I just, it's interesting. So, I will, I hope I won't update again in the airport because we want to get out of here, but yeah, there you go. So I'll be listening to more of the Ravens. I don't think I'll finish it, but you know, I only have four hours left and, and we'll be here for a long time anyway, but at least I brought the nature of witches with me as well. I was not thinking I was going to get through these two books, but now I'm kind of reconsidering that possibility. So. Yeah, there's my update. Wish us luck because this is this is horrible. <laughs> this is absolutely terrible. <laughs> anyway, bye bye. All right, good news. It is Saturday night, and we are in Canada. We are in the apartment that we're staying in. Oh, <sighs> what a relief! Uh, it's been quite a journey. I finished a book, so. I actually finished The Ravens by um, Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. I started this, as, as you saw in the previous clip, and I ended up finishing it, mostly through audio, but I did do like some physical following along uh, in the airport and on the plane, so <laughs> I read this. I am rating it 4 out of 5 stars. I loved it. The atmosphere, the spooky witchy vibes, like the magic system. Oh my word, I loved the magic system. I think my my main critiques of it were uh, the romance subplots were kind of subpar, and then it seemed like they at times were more important than the main plot, which did not make any sense, because I mean like romantic interest where something small happens versus your best friend's life is at stake and you have a limited amount of time to find her. Kind of seems like there's an imbalance there sometimes. Um, so there, I had an issue with that and then I, I wish we could have gone in depth a little bit more with the magic system but that's just me wanting more. I'm still satisfied with what the authors wrote but yeah. So, I, I very much enjoyed it. I felt like a lot of the twists were, um, like you could see them coming, or you could guess like, okay, there's going to be a twist with this idea, I, maybe I don't know how, but I know that that's what it's going to be, and so I just felt like I was able to predict most things that were going to happen, but again, I'm not mad because I still loved the characters and I loved the setting and the vibes, it was perfect way to catch off witchy week. It was wonderful. So because I finished it already, uh, I did actually start listening to Sweater Bittersweet Magic, which is the audiobook. I did not bring the physical copy along because I didn't want to bring the physical copy for three books, but okay. So I probably won't be putting much time or attention into that one while I'm in Canada, but I'll probably listen to that on the flights home. Um, I'm enjoying it. I think it's interesting. So for now though, while we're here, I will be reading The Nature of Witches before bed. I am like 20 pages in and again, I'm enjoying it. So 
this is what I'm going to be focusing on. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick little updated review of the fact that I finished the Ravens already. So, there we go. Alright, I'm going to go to bed now because I'm really, really tired because I had to sleep in an airport again. So, good night. Hey y'all, I feel like I, I feel gross and I look gross, so that's a great start, but it is Wednesday morning. We got back late last night, surprisingly. We were supposed to get back during the day, but our flight ended up being delayed quite a bit, so we got home, ordered some pizza, watched the Great British Baking Show, and just kind of went to bed. Um, I did do a lot of listening to audiobooks, but there's a bit of a catch there. Um, so today I'm going to finish the book that I've been listening to, try and read as much of the witches books that I can as it is the last day for this vlog. And today is also I think the last day of the sweater weather readathon and a lot of my witchy books I had planned for that readathon. So <laughs> I need to finish some books and I've been really excited to finish them, I just haven't done that yet. So basically what happened was uh, so I finished The Ravens, and I already, already gave my review of that. I am about an hour into Sweet and Bitter Magic, but then I realized that my audiobook of the Final Girl Support Group was going to expire today, and I realized this yesterday, so I had like a day, and I didn't have the physical copy with me, and I just didn't know if I would get the audiobook again, so I've been listening to the Final Girl Support Group instead. And I'm sorry, because that is not what was planned for this week, but... I am about an hour and a half from the end of it, so I would like to finish that and then listen to as much as Sweet and Bitter Magic and read as much as The Nature of Witches as possible, but I'm not making any promises. I'm hoping I can finish a second witchy book this week, but I, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'll probably end up finishing these before Halloween anyway. But this video needs to go up on Thursday, so <laughs> whatever it is is I took today off work uh, because I needed sleep and I needed to just take it easy and kind of recover from all this traveling. <laughs> um, I know sitting on a plane just can make you so tired, especially if you're like me and you can't actually sleep on planes, but you spent a night in an airport and that was just but shout out to O'Hare Airport for actually having cushioned seats without the arm things so that you can lay down and sleep. They're really thin though, so like I would almost roll off. It was anyway. But that's not the point. So I I don't have a lot to do today, so I'm just going to relax, you know, take a shower, do some reading, kind of recover from traveling, and hopefully I will finish at least one book outside of the final girl support group today. All right, hi, so it's later in the day. It is just past three o'clock and I finished listening to the final girl support group by Grady Hendrix. And I like this book. I don't quite know what I'm gonna rate it. I'm thinking either 3.5 or four. I don't know, like it was, it was a solid book, but I just felt like there was so much of it that I was, I just wasn't a fan of. I, I think it was a mix of the writing, the characters, and the plot, like, the obviously the three main things, like, all of them were kind of at, like, a three or four star level. There wasn't, like, I didn't think the writing was phenomenal, I didn't think the characters were amazing. I mean, I liked the characters and how they tried to be unique, but I think the main character just drove me insane, and, and I think the plot was, I think the plot was great, I just think it was executed poorly. Um, but like in the end when we found out who the people actually were, it was like, okay, yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> like it wasn't some big twist that I didn't see coming, but it wasn't something that was like, okay, hurry up. I mean, I was kind of like, okay, hurry up and tell me, but not in the I'm annoyed with this way, but in the this book keeps going on and on kind of way. Um, there was just a lot of movement without a lot of things happening, I felt like. Um, but I, I still would recommend it. I still think it was an interesting read, definitely, you know, like a slasher film and a book, and I enjoyed it. Um, but I don't know which I liked more, Grady Hendrix's 
the other book that I read, The Southern Vampires, or this one. I think they were both kind of on a similar level. I think the writing was better in this one, but I think the other one, the plot was just a little more exciting for me. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I finished this, and that was not the plan. Also, you know what else I read? I actually sat down and read Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Erin Hicks today. Um, I meant to read it on the day that we went to a pumpkin patch, but I also wanted to read it for a readathon that ends today, so I thought I would just, uh, just go ahead and read it. It was adorable. It's, the artwork is great. The plot is cute. I'm a little disappointed on a little thing at the end, but, eh, whatever. You know, it's 200 pages. It took me, like, 30 minutes to read, so it was cute. So I've read three books this week. And I, I can't decide if I want to end the vlog here or if I want to see if I read another book, but because this video needs to go up tomorrow morning, I need to be able to edit, download, and then upload to YouTube. So, yeah, I will keep listening to Sweet and Bitter Magic, I will keep reading Nature of Witches, and the next video that I do where I talk about like books, like actually give a review, they will probably be be there. So if you want to see that video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you can be notified. I post on Thursdays. I had also been posting on Tuesdays and I would like to keep posting twice a week. I've been enjoying doing that. Um, so I might keep posting on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I also might change around the days that I post. So I might do like Sunday and Wednesday instead just because with how my work schedule is, those are kind of the days that are a little bit lighter so I can focus on booktube things. Um, so again, just subscribe so that you know when a new video is uploaded, but I will always post at least one a week, if not two. Um, comment down below if you read any of these books or what you are planning to read for Halloween. I would love to know and I would love to just chat with you guys about bookish things in the comments. Like this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it or if you like witchy books. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy spooky reading.